And we're back. And we're back. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Strumpet Radio. Radio. Our question mark. Um, I'm Bean. And I'm Susie. And we are together. That's true. S- boozy. Oh, boozy. Boozy or or Sean. <laughs> <laughs> awesome <laughs> I love <that>. spelled s-e-a-n <laughs> yeah yeah why do people spell sean like that? it's actually spelled s-u-e-a-n <laughs> <laughs> <That's so awesome. laughs> but the sean. u is silent as well as the e and a okay and the sh is a surprise <laughs> yeah why do people spell like s-e-a-n i don't like why would you expect me to assume that's sean What's Sh- wrong yeah shout out to my friend sean who spells it that way but you should change your name. You should change it. Just put an S H, and then I'll read it like Sean. But then it would be Sheen. But I'll. It's you have to change so S-E-A-N much. S E A N doesn't look like Sean. It's true. Anyway, we should cut to the intro. <laughs> Fuck you, Sean. We can talk. Okay, so they didn't hear any of that, right? Uh, no, they didn't. <laughs> okay, we're good. They didn't. Um, Let's see. Famous Sean, Sean White. Sean Bean. Oh, yeah. I always think of that one because it it's that's the hardest one. Because is it Sean Bon <laughs> or Seen Bean? Bean? No, it's Sean Bean. Why would that be your name? It's a terrible name. Who did that? He should change his name and die. <laughs> But yeah. he needs to change his name first so his headstone doesn't look doesn't stupid. Look so stupid. That's what I say. Shout out to Ned Stark. Is that who we played? Yeah. Okay, and know. someone from Lord of the Rings, I don't know. Right? Brennan will know. That sounds right. Um, he in. played Boromir in Thank you. Lord of the Rings. And Shut up, that, Brennan. Is that some sort of oh, yeah, wait. Who's elf? Boromir? Is he, that an elf? Uh, he's a human. <laughs> and. Um, he was the guy that was first tempted okay. by the ring. He uh, only showed up in the first movie. He only showed up in the first movie. And yeah, he, he got that name. He got he got, got killed by an orc. Oh my god! Just like in Game of Thrones, spoilers for Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, he's known for dying <laughs> pretty <laughs> early dying on. In, in 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 long <laughs> series, he's known for dying. It was so really sad early. in Game of Thrones when that orc cut off Ned's head. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke. I guess you haven't seen. Game I of haven't Thrones. seen Game of Thrones. There are no orcs. Okay. Oh, okay. Get it together. Just just humans you and, should watch and Game of- well, white can walkers. I say my piece about Game of Thrones? For years, yeah. everyone kept telling me. It's so watch, good. Right? Oh, it's, it's so good. And Game of Thrones is so good. And then the last season comes out, and everyone and it's watches terrible. it, and they go, oh, that was actually the worst yes. experience of my life. You're not wrong. And that's why I haven't rewatched it. But all I read all the books. Of course you did. The books are amazing. And seasons one through four are like worth it. It's, like, worth mm. the bad season at the end. Okay. It kind of tapers off, and then the last season seven's really bad. Okay. But it's worth still watching, I think. Interesting. I think you're the first person that, told me, that has told me it's still worth watching. I, I do think, think so. Everyone else is, like, Because, oh, no. I mean, just the first few seasons are so good. Yeah. And it's, like, you are setting yourself up for a loss <laughs> and some grief when you're, like, why it could have been that good the whole time. Okay. But I think it's still worth it. Yeah, I agree. And I honestly. know you're, you, you're not a, you don't know how to read, but the books are great. It's really mean. Yeah. Honestly, if you watch like the first four well, seasons. Brendan, you're not part of this podcast. <laughs> as a standalone thing, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Anyway. We let him speak produce- one time. Oh, no, it's his podcast. I take it back. Before this, I said producers do deserve rights. They don't. That was a mistake. It's, it's just decided <laughs> just now they don't deserve health insurance or payment. I'm just kidding, Brendan. <laughs> I do all this work for your podcast. <laughs> Literally, he's the backbone of the podcast. Look at, look at how good everything looks. looks okay, I purchased... <laughs> three of these signs so you guys guess which one comment below which ones you think Dean bought they're the ones that glow spoilers (laughs) but i put them in place but brendan did take out his little hammer (laughs) 
that's what the sound of his hammer makes because it's so small. Is that what the sound of hammer is? It's like a squishy oh, It's like thing. bouncy. So he actually he was trying to hammer the nail in, but then he kept hitting his own head. <laughs> and we're like, Brendan, you don't have to do it. And he's like, I just love the podcast so much. <laughs> it was really sad. <laughs> This is the episode where Bean bullies the guy that like literally does all the like Ugh. all the work we could ask a person that doesn't get paid to do. Literally not a single cent. <laughs> Bean hates the union. Okay. Stop trying Bean to unionize. Union. Yeah, she's against the writer's Stop. strike. She told me that. <laughs> Brendan keeps trying to unionize and we're like, with who? You can't be a one person union. Can you? Actually, I don't know. That's yeah. a good question. We should look that up. I feel like isn't the whole thing with unionizing is you need <laughs> enough signatures? Multiple. Maybe if there's only one employee, though, you just you need, need one. Strong. You're the majority. Brennan's looking it up. He's unionizing as we stop speak. unionizing in front of me. <laughs> How do you unionize your? Oh yes, this is perfect. We have the Google results. You need two people. Need two people to form a okay, union. So you need to get one more person to work on this. Or part. probably if you got one of us on board. You better not unionize with him. Okay. If you unionize with him, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? You were barely in to begin with. That's a good point. But what, are you going to do a solo podcast? We've done solo podcasts. They were depressing. Okay, so I was thinking that they were depressing, but you know who has a solo podcast now? Can not speak? Brittany Broski. Oh. And it's actually so entertaining. Well, she's like a natural, just I'm not. full of energy. I'm not. Maybe I don't know. You were just saying I before know. we I'm started, Brennan asked, "Do you feel good?" And I, I said, you said, "Do I ever feel yeah, good?" Yeah, I said, "No, but that's normal." <laughs> but you know, if you want to do a solo cast, I support you. I'm gonna have to because you just said you're gonna leave. No, only if you unionize with Brendan. So just don't do that. Okay. Plus, you'd have to pay union dues, and you don't even make any money. Don't make any <laughs> it would be only a loss. Yeah, in order to unionize, I would need to get paid. So oh. okay, we're good then. That's we're in the clear. True. Can't unionize if you're not getting paid. So don't pay your employees. If you want to be a true union buster, just don't pay. Just don't pay them to begin with. Bust the union before it ever starts. <laughs> Pre-bust. <laughs> premature think- busting <laughs> do you think people like sci- like they take jobs to be union busters like is that a uh, job isn't that title? like what a scab is well scabs is a term a term for people that like you know go in and do the work when like the employees oh. are unionizing okay i had that wrong um and that you know that's incentive because usually they'll they'll pay them a little bit better because they obviously mm-hmm. don't think of they need them and yeah. all that stuff. Um, but like for because I mean I'm sure they don't I'm sure they they call them HR probably you mm. know at like Amazon and stuff. But I'm just curious what the guys that their whole job is to go in and bust up unions. That's got to be a thing, or they're like undercover. Yeah, as an employee, but they're like they're to bust. <laughs> They're busters. Bust. They're there to prematurely bust, <laughs> <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm 13 years old. Yeah. In my heart. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, how's your week been? Or two weeks since we last recorded? It's, it's been crazy. Yeah. But unfortunately, I can't give you guys the details on that yet. Not yet. Not yet. You guys should know that at Just some point <laughs> in the future, we've got a great story. Keep watching. Every time Keep we watching. Post, maybe you'll get a good story from me. We don't know when we'll be able to talk about no. it, but that makes it more enticing. Yeah, because you have to keep... You should subscribe. There could be legal ramifications. <laughs> I mean... So is that too much? Okay. No, I, it's, it's just really I'm funny. suing Susie. Okay. <laughs> well, you kind of... You announced that too early. Sorry, I prematurely busted yeah, prematurely that news. prematurely busted the news. That was okay. my bad. Um, but yeah, you're weak. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, week was a little bit crazy, but mostly just, you know, more of the same. Okay, I have one funny interaction that happened with a kid. Okay. Let me tell you. 
So I come up to the student, because sometimes I talk to the kids, I walk around, I make sure everything's going well, and then I, if a kid's too chatty and distracting other kids, I take Classic. the brunt of their chattiness, and I say, mm. what's going on? And they, anyways, they are just telling me about this trip they're going on, and then they said, um, we're going to a place where they have horses, but I can't ride them because I'm too old. Oh, and then no. I was like, what are you a horse how old is this kid this kid's like a middle schooler oh so i say what and they say yeah i don't know they s- i'm too old to ride the horses and then i said what are they miniature horses as a funny joke and then well, this kid was like no what? they're not they're regular I- horses <laughs> and he can't ride them <laughs> maybe oh maybe it's one of those little kid things where they're like i can't play with toys i'm too old Maybe. Maybe he thinks they're riding horses. May- is... I don't know. I assume their parents were just like, making you're too up, old. Making something up. Yeah. Because the horse rides cost like $30. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you know Randair, Light of My Life, Fire My Loins? He he has an uncle who's like a rancher okay. and uh, has horses. And he found Randair found out the hard way that he's allergic to horses. Damn. By uh, going on a horse ride and like his throat started closing <laughs> up, He's which so- is crazy to have like a deathly allergy to horses. Yeah, that's severe. Because that one, it doesn't really come into play almost ever. Yeah. But then, and then you just happen when to there's a horse the around, horse. we're like, you got to get out of here, dude. That is so crazy. You're gonna die. You're gonna literally die because of these animals. Yeah, I guess as far as allergies go, that's a good one to have. Now. In the past, you would have been fucked. Screwed. It's like, this guy's got to walk everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) Or maybe you could ride like a donkey. I mean, yeah, yeah. He would have just died. Probably. (laughs) It was not what we did not have walkable infrastructure. It was all made for horses. Well, and like, okay, so think about back in the day when you had an allergic reaction. You just die, I think. Yeah, not that I know of. Yeah. I don't know what maybe i don't know people have always like known things though you know they're always like oh this is the plant you eat when you, a horse being around a horse almost You're kills you horse. yeah this, this is the true. plant you eat when you have a baby you don't want <laughs> that's true and like they did have a lot of like hard drugs in a oh yeah back then so maybe you just like drink a coca-cola and you're you fine. just drink some cocaine yeah and like you're too powerful for the allergy <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> like it can't stop you <laughs> your throat closes up but it doesn't matter it does not matter at that point yeah it doesn't matter okay that's a good point yeah that's crazy yeah but yeah horse allergy yeah i don't know you know who else has a horse allergy who pete davidson Re- how how do you know that this is so embar- i was literally listening to another podcast where oh they're my talking god about horse girls Okay. And then they just mentioned that Pete Davidson had a whole bit in one of his stand-up sets that, like, he was really excited to go to this, like, rehab that had horses. And he specifically <laughs> wanted to go there for the horses. But he but he had, like, never been around a horse before. So then, he in like, while he was there, he found out he had a horse out. Yeah. Him. Well, that's what happens because you're never around a horse. Right. in your In an average American's life, you'll never be around a horse. And then one day... You're there to ride a horse because that's the only reason that's you, go you go see a horse. horse. And then you like almost die on accident because <laughs> of a crippling horse allergy. What if I have an elephant allergy and I don't realize right? it? Right. Like you don't know. There could be like um, yeah. wom- a wombat allergy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> How <laughs> like, many you animals know. can you possibly be allergic to that you'll never know? Are allergies... Okay. We should have done research if we were going to go down no. here. Because like how do allergies develop, right? Like right. maybe... Maybe I don't know. Well, I, know I think it's there's a I don't know. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of different ways for it to happen too. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. some allergies are latent. Um, like explain. Like uh, what does that mean? As a kid, I had no trouble around cats, but now I get. It. Mm-hmm. My dad's really allergic to cats, and he was the same way. Where when he was a kid, they had cats that didn't bother him. Oh, interesting. But now he like it's really bad. You know, like he doesn't die, but he gets all puffy yeah. and. I'm I'm getting there too. Right, right. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Latent allergies. So Riveting yeah, maybe stuff. as kids when we were around elephants, we were fine. we were fine. I remember riding an elephant at like a Renaissance fair. Fuck, dude, that's messed up. You can't. I know, do that. and I was just starting to get old enough where <laughs> I was like, why does this make me feel kind of yeah, bad? Why am I sad? Right. Like now? I should be excited to ride an elephant, but something about this doesn't feel right. 
Yeah. Now I'm like, damn, that was crazy. Do they still wild. do elephant rides? I don't know. Nice. They shouldn't, but I'm, probably they do. Yeah. I don't even like zoos anymore. Even though like a lot of zoos are like pretty ethical. Yeah. Not necessarily all of the time, but yeah well you know what zoos and aquariums are bad because of the people that go to them i think oh because i've had some pretty negative experiences especially like an aquarium where there's just an awful man that like enjoys traumatizing fish oh yeah and i'm like what is wrong with that's sociopathic you have children here you're clearly a bad father yeah somebody arrest him that's what i said to him yeah aquariums are cool because i feel like most as long as they don't have like orcas or dolphins in them I feel like most fish are kind of just... Fish are, yeah, they're less of a... like. They're just chilling. They're just having a good time. It's like I never feel bad having a pet bearded dragon because they're so dumb. Wow. They're literally... I mean, like, you're giving them truly the best life they yeah, could that's have. True. That's true. But other... Like, people have, like, pet monkeys and stuff. I'm <laughs> like, bro, that... Don't do that. That is too intelligent to be a pet. Don't get a... Mon- don't get a chimp also. Oh, yeah, those will, like, eat your face off. They will tear your face off. They will, yeah. Dude, I was reading about that. Was it Travis? Because there's that one infamous. Yes, yes, that case. It was some other lady's chimp. Yes. And she gave him, like, stimulants. I can't remember. No, I'm scared. Don't look this up because they'll they'll put, Brennan, stop. I don't want to see your face. I don't want to see the image. I haven't seen it. Brendan just tried to traumatize. I cannot. This is why we're not paying him. He just <laughs> tried to traumatize. Us. I try to avoid like <laughs> gore photos, yeah. but there's a nine one one call recording oh. that I did here. That was I don't know. What was it? Ah ah chimp. So oh. it was like the lady who Sorry, owned that the was chimp. Fucked up. <laughs> oh Travis. Ouch. Oh Travis, stop Travis, tearing my stop. face off. Yeah, the lady who owned the chimp was not the one who got her face torn yeah, off. It was like her right. friend, and so she. The lady who owned it called 911 and you could just hear oh, a lady Jesus. like screaming in the background. But I remember it not being that graphic. Okay. Because I've heard some 911 calls that have fucked me up. We've talked about this. Yeah, you do kind of listen to some fucked I go shit. down these like dark internet rabbit holes like every few months and I always regret it. And it always is going to happen again. It's a cycle. Yeah, there's no way to stop you. Yeah. I don't know. Are you following this submarine story? Yes, dude. I was so oh my you'd bring God. that up. That yeah. was a delight. That was a, I mean. I was, was so hooked on that. I was like refreshing. Yes. No, literally. Yeah. I was like, okay, what's, what's new? Because the thought, even though like absolutely everyone that went on it, dumb, very dumb decision. <laughs> they're like dumb billionaires. But yes. there's something just so like e- equalizing about the thought of dying slowly under the yes. ocean no i and i'm like i wouldn't wish that on anyone completely like i yeah. was like oh my god like it's you know i mean yeah the same way if you hear any horrifying like oh these people got trapped in some i mean mm-hmm. like when people get on sinking ships you know you're like yeah. oh my god it kind of doesn't matter who they were anymore you're yeah, just you're like so oh cool. shit <gasps> brendan haunted haunted Dude, it's the submarine ghosts oh my god submarine ghost the submarine but yeah i was um because they were really playing up this like oxygen countdown yeah that was yeah even yeah. though now we know that they it, they were pretty sure they blew up immediately the whole time that was like never yeah no that's and that was what was interesting too when that was like when the coast guard like confirmed yeah. it they were like yeah no it was it, it imploded on the descent and they had picked up the navy had picked up a sound that could have been the implosion yep. and informed the search crew right away and i still understand why it's their obligation to assume because you don't know for you sure know, yeah. but um i think they were all pretty sure that they said, Ooh, it well, was yeah. gone it was like given the, what what it was yeah like, everything about it was like oh, yeah, yeah. Like, probably but it was yeah it was an exciting couple of days of just like it was just because every time i found out more information about the actual i was like oh my god vessel yeah and like the, everything that went into it, it was like oh my god and it was just such a nightmare and it's you know everyone is talking about how dumb the people were to go on it which is true at the same time i really could see a world where i was like oh i would love to see the titanic wreckage <laughs> And, because I would, I'd love to see it. People keep saying, like, it's not, why would anyone want to do that? No, I want to see, I I want to see the Titanic for sure. But, I feel like we tend to, like, 
trust companies too much we do like yeah. i would just be like oh no this is like they're a company yeah they've like, done this before they? this is safe yeah well it was an interesting story because i think that it highlighted that people have a lot of trust in companies exactly what you're mm-hmm. saying but also that it it's and it's becoming more common now but it was a pretty unique situation in which the company like went out of its way to not be regulated yes yeah um because i was thinking about it in like the comparison of like roller coasters like you get on a roller coaster for the thrill of it mm-hmm. but roller coasters are heavily regulated which right. is why people don't die on them very often because right. they have so many engineers working on it and there's and the company has so much like stake in keeping everyone safe and alive mm-hmm. and you know if you were to make a roller coaster that was that dangerous that you had to sign like three forms to get right. onto it it's a very different situation um so yeah it was just really interesting because i think that's true i think that probably everyone that got on it had the same thought where they were Mm -hmm. like well why would why would this guy do even though they had to like sign a waiver there's no way to know if they knew the full extent of how because they like refused to have it certified by like all the whatever (laughs) big boards that certify submarines and i i have to assume they knew that getting on oops but i don't know because they had to sign a waiver yeah but anyway i i i understand i would want to see the titanic okay. now i wouldn't now you know because i learned so much about submarines, submarines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if you just asked me a week ago <laughs> if i'd get on this guy's submarine to go see the titanic i'd be like that sounds sick do you think so yeah interesting i think so okay do you not get claustrophobic Oh, no, it's really scary. I I don't get very claustrophobic, but I am afraid of the ocean. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of the thrill of it. Like, there's something so creepy about sunken ships. Yeah, I mean, I do think sunken ships are awesome. Like, it's it's really cool the way... I mean, just the decay that happens underwater is so unique Mm -hmm. and interesting. Um, I will say that, like, a month ago, I saw a TikTok video of this girl just describing her job working on basically like a recreational submarine they do tours and it doesn't go very deep but it goes deep enough that you can see sea life and stuff Mm -hmm. um and i watched that video and obviously that's a it's a real submarine with real regulation and a crew that knows what they're doing Mm -hmm. and i thought to myself i don't think i'm going on a submarine and that's fair i don't think I'm going. there's no reason to go on a submarine you can live a full (laughs) life without ever being on a submarine been submerged yeah it's really creepy and also like i don't know we just collectively as a society learned so much so much like i didn't know how deep the titanic was i didn't know it was like that deep oh wow that's really fucking deep which is wild because i also learned um the titanic's sister ship the the britannic britannica Britannica is sunk super shallow yeah like you can dive to it with scuba gear so i'm like why would you not just do that it's basically the same experience well, you tell me you're the one that wanted to go see the Titanic. Well, I didn't know that there were other options. Okay. I mean, I, the Titanic is famous. It is famous, but yeah. Does the Britannica have a movie about it? Good point. Actually, I think it does. Oh, well. But I haven't seen does it. Does it star Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And Kate Winslet. She's mm-hmm. more important. More important. Doesn't star Kate Winslet or Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> so there's that. The Britannica, though, was a, a hospital ship for World War II, which is kind of spooky. That's really scary. Spooky, spooky. So it's like an abandoned hospital and shipwreck all in one. Wait, do you know um, any more information about the Britannica? Not really. Okay. Um, it hit a mine. A mine? Uh, a water bomb mine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, water mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, okay, I was really scared of underwater mines as a kid because of uh, Finding Nemo. Oh. They swim through, like, a I water minefield. And I'm like, is there... <laughs> <laughs> Renan just pulled up a picture of Britannica from Glow. Oh. Wow, I didn't know that was her name. And that is... That, what's her name? What's the actress's name? Um, Art Kate Nash. Nash. Kate Nash? The British pop singer? Yes. What? Yes. Oh my god, I loved her as a teen. Yeah, she's great. I had a little and British pop phase. She's great in Glow. And yeah, Glow is Britannica. great. I should watch the rest of Glow. I watched some of it with you guys. Um, but yeah, I was, you know, in Finding Nemo made me afraid of underwater mines. I can't think of much scarier than that, to be honest. <laughs> like deep ocean bombs. Yeah, that is awful. What? 
Why do we have those? <laughs> you know. And they're so spooky looking because they're like chained to the ocean floor. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Why do we do that? War. War. But yeah, it hit a... It hit... I did learn some things. Okay. It hit a mine. And actually, it wouldn't have sunk except that um, the nurses were instructed not to open the windows mm. on the ship, but they did to air out, because I'm sure it was stinky and nasty. Yeah. It was a hospital. But they did, and so water got in really fast. And so it sunk a lot faster than it right, would have. Right, right, right. Okay. Because yes. sometimes boats sink real slow, which I didn't know either. Um, but I watched the internet historian. He's got this great video on a cruise ship that sunk. Ooh. And it sunk very slowly, so they had a lot of time to get people off. Okay, yeah. Although people did still die. Anyway, that's that. We've all been thinking about boats. Well, Bo- yes. And boats shipwrecks and, and submarines. Just reasons to stay out of the sea. Yeah, dude, I'm so scared of the ocean. I mean, you should be. It's like a even, scary place. I'm even thinking back to like last time I went to Hawaii many years ago, and. I remember, like, I got kind of... I was just on the shore, but I, I had, like, a wave knock me down. And then, like, I tried to get up and another and one like, knocked yes, me down. That's scary. And every time I think about that, I'm like, is it really worth it to play in the ocean anymore? Like, yeah, that not, shit's terrifying. I You have to be really careful with mm-hmm. what you're doing. Yeah, because, I mean, there's all those things, too, where it's like, if the if just one current picks you up, yeah. you immediately you die. Like, and, like, we don't really know, because there's protocol. Like, if you're getting knocked in waves, you got to go under, which mm-hmm. isn't your instinct, right? Right. But I don't have that kind of training. I don't know. Mm-mm. No. I do remember as a kid, my dad was always like, if you get stuck in a current, swim with the current. Right, right. Don't. And I was like, oh, what? Okay. <laughs> what? Got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess. Um, remember last year when we watched Open Water? And oh, a movie review about that. God, yeah, like I could never go on a boat again. I'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. I think I could only do like boat rides that are like close to land. Yeah, I could know? do a ferry. Yeah, yeah, those are fine. Because I mean, it's, it's like, fine. oh no, we, you know, like I feel like it's pretty easy to uh, to not die on those. Yes, although okay, I've got a lot of boating knowledge apparently. Boat accident knowledge. Yeah. For one of my education classes, we had to watch this documentary on a ferry accident in South Korea where, um, I don't even remember why they had us watch it. Probably they just like thought it was cool. Uh, <laughs> but, um, a bunch of, cause the education system in South Korea is like super intense right. and, um, you basically take a test that just places you into the university you're going to go to. So it's a big deal. So a bunch of students who had just, like, finished their tests, they went on this, like, fairy party, like, celebration thing. And it started sinking. And the big thing that so many people died, and the reason is because over the, like, intercoms, they were instructing everyone to stay where they are. So a bunch of people didn't get out onto the surface. So even though it sank really slow, a lot of people died because they were told to stay in place. Oh, weird. And I think, because that class was contrasting education systems across the world. Okay. So I think they were contrasting kind of the cultural differences between South Korea and America. Because an American ship, immediately everyone's like trampling children to get off the boat. Like it doesn't matter what you tell them. Your your personal survival. Which is usually not a good thing. No. But in this case, they, you know, trusted authority so much that the authority being incompetent killed them all. Right, right. Which is kind of scary because you never know what the right thing to do is in an emergency. Yeah, and usually is listening is the right is thing the to move. do. Yeah. yeah, and not panicking. I mean, and not panicking. Yeah. Like, so um, anyway, kind of a bummer. Big. Uh, kind of a bummer direction we're going, but yeah. Death on the water. If you're on a sinking boat, just get up. Just yeah, I mean it makes get up to the top. That's what animals would do. Is yeah. they just find the highest ground possible. And then you wait for... And swim away from the boat, because yeah, it will don't, pull you down. Yes. Oh, that's... Weird. It'll pull you down. Um, yeah. No, I I mean, I, I've always said that I really don't want to go on a cruise, personally. Dude, no. Oh, my that's God. Fun. There's so many reasons not to, as well. Yeah. Like, one, it's the one of the highest... Like, I think it's the most polluting vehicle. Yes. By far. Our yes. cruise ships. It's like years of traffic for every cruise is like the equal emissions Horrible. um it's also just weird and creepy like they've got morgues 
Yeah, yeah. You um, people die on the road. A lot of like sicknesses break out on cruises because you can't really isolate. Uh, and then yeah, you're just in the middle of nowhere. And a big fear with cruises for me is that I'll get off the boat and it'll leave without me. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be stranded. Oops. That can happen. Yeah. So I'm good on cruises. Although I do love a buffet. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Although, honestly, less so now that I'm older, too. Because <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, our family's favorite place to go was Old Country Buffet. Yeah. And I remember going... I don't think I went there. I think I went to a Golden Corral fairly recently. Okay. And I was just like, I don't know if I want to eat this food. Like, there's so much gross stuff happening. Yes. A lot Like a lot of people eating from the same trough. Eating from... It's just... Yeah, it's a communal trough. There's kids everywhere. Just fucking sticky hands. <laughs> Just grabbing the mac and cheese by the handful, and I'm like, I wanted that. Yes, and a lot of buffets, the food quality is really bad because they obviously have to make so much of it. They have to make so much, and they just um, pour it on top. Yeah, yeah, it's like there's, yeah. So the um, the reasons for going on a cruise are getting smaller. They're They're getting slimmer by the year. (laughs) um yeah yeah no i i i'm okay i'm okay staying away from the water for the most part you know? yes except I, I can't remember if we talked about this on the podcast but how some old people just go on <gasps> cruises yes. endlessly because it's cheaper than a retirement home which and you get the same benefits pretty you much you know what i could see doing that because i could do that once you're okay with death yeah it's okay once i'm okay with death dying by shipwreck kind of sick kind of kind of sick as hell yeah yeah i wonder if there's sunken cruise ships we could go see (laughs) in a submarine (laughs) that'd be cool (laughs) let's build a submarine apparently it's not that hard you want to build one yeah let's do it apparently you can just build it out of whatever you just do that yeah would you ever go like scuba diving maybe um I think it would be really cool. The thing that actually freaks me out about that is the pressure. Because, yeah. uh, I don't know, I have this core memory as a kid. I went on a trip somewhere and I swam a lot. And on the flight home, the descent, like, I thought my head was going to explode. I had this crazy, oh, like, really? pressure headache. And so now I'm kind of scared of that. Like, you know when you dive to, the like, the bottom of the deep end of the pool and your head right. gets yeah, really... Yeah, you feel it. it. I really don't like that feeling. No, it's... Well, and it's crazy to me that it can... You can feel it in such shallow water. I know. So it's like, yeah, going much deeper, it's like... Well, because imagine... Because, you know, you think about just the tons of pressure for that water creates just at, like, 10 feet. Right. So imagine whatever it was, like, 30,000. 30, 13,000. 13,000. Yeah. Unimaginable. That's why they liquefied instantly. Yeah. Rest in peace. Which is beautiful when you think about it. I want to liquefy instantly. If I'm going to die... It is so much better than dying over four days <laughs> and running out of oxygen in a <laughs> tube with, like, five people. Oh, I can't even imagine. <laughs> I was, like, genuinely relieved when I found out they no, blew yeah, up. It's I was true. like, that's like, okay. good. That's good. Glad to hear that. They didn't even know what was happening. No, they it was just like... Yeah. Gone. One minute you're looking at the single porthole they had, and then <laughs> next minute you're liquid. You're part of the sea. <laughs> God. Sorry, the single porthole that you can't actually see out of because they just had a glow stick at the top. Yes, that was that was the thing too. It's like it's not even a good. Not even. And you'd have to take turns, yeah. I assume. What the fuck was that? No way, dude. And the part that scared me the most is they didn't have a bathroom on board. No, they had like they a. Had like a it was by the porthole, too. Yes, it was by the porthole. So if someone has to pee, no one gets to look out the porthole. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm pooping. <laughs> Give me 15. <laughs> uh, ooh. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare all around. Nightmare. Also, there's a great video on YouTube that's um a remote video tour of the titanic well, yeah. that's all you need that's literally all you need and it's gonna um it's gonna degrade yeah. the titanic and it already is so we got that video yeah brendan pull that up brendan's pulling it up right now oh uh, i like that they recreate we don't want titanic. a virtual recreation i'm like i don't need to see that no personally i do like wreck 
Oh, I'd yeah. like wreckage. There we go. Yeah. 2004. Yeah, it's kind of old, but it's okay. still good. Look at this shit. Are you can tell me you wouldn't want to see this. Um, I'm seeing it right now. Right. It's awesome. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, before yeah, no. this, I would have considered. Titanic was first discovered in 1985 we don't need by Dr. Really. Robert Ballard and a team of researchers. We can just take a look. Look at this. That, yeah, I know it's awesome. It's um, it's kind of dirty. I think we should. <laughs> do you think they should clean it up a little bit? Yeah, maybe we could do like a cleanup mission. <laughs> clean up the <laughs> Just Titanic. to scrub it. And just they, for the tourists. They completely destroy it. <laughs> it, it <laughs> yeah, it would crumble. <laughs> instantly, there's nothing left. Can't we just send down some like scrubber drones? Scrum off the rails a yeah. little bit. Yeah. No, you're right. Okay, fast forward to something interesting. I'm this, yeah, let's see. Do they have the ballroom? Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. I feel like we're in that submarine right now. We. This is probably a better view better than view what of, you would get yeah. in the submarine. Because here's the thing, too, is like, I imagine seeing the Titanic, you know, in person would be like when you see the Mona Lisa in person, mm. which is where you go, oh, it's actually really small and not that interesting to look at. Oh, the Titanic's huge, dude. I I know, dude. I'm saying that, like, when you see the Mona Lisa, but yeah, person, you're right. It's underwhelming. Have you seen the Mona Lisa? Yes, I have. Oh, pff, I okay, have. Some of us are world travelers. I haven't seen it. <laughs> and I've seen the Titanic and the Mona Lisa in person. And oh my god, impressive. You saw it. I did. You were down there with James I'm Cameron. I'm embarrassed to say that I went on Ocean Gate's first adventure <laughs> down there. Um, it was actually great. It was actually really cool and, <laughs> and awesome. highly I recommend. I spent two hundred fifty thousand dollars on it. I'm glad I did that. Oh, two fifty thousand. I think I would love to do a tour, a, an underwater tour of a shipwreck, but it does not have to be the Titanic. Yes, it yes. can be one that's shallow enough for divers. Yeah. Well, if, or you know what's cool is like when a boat goes over like a sunken like like yeah so it, it's shallow enough and the water is clear enough you can see it yeah that's crazy there's so many sunken stuff you don't have to see the titanic there is so much garbage sunk there's in the so sea. much garbage in the ocean i was reading about this opened up so many worlds to me i was reading about um shipping containers oh like two to ten thousand go overboard every year the fuck? That's and so there mean. have been instances where stuff comes out of the shipping container because it like erodes okay and um washes up on shore yeah a famous incident was a bunch of garfield phones oh yes <laughs> yep god that's uh, perfect i know and stuff from shipping containers coming out has been used to track ocean currents because <gasps> you can track the all the shit all the garbage floating that is so interesting yeah Yes. Oh my god. Okay, pull this up. Pull, pull, pull it up. Pull this shit up. Yeah, the Garfield phone's I'm just washing so up. I'm so lucky in finding that on the beach. Oh my god, a free Garfield phone from the sea? From the fucking <laughs> sea, dude. That's incredible. Like, I, I just love that, first of all, these things existed, and then second of all, that the shipping container full of them <laughs> fell. It was cursed. I love that these things exist, and we allocate so many resources to transporting them <laughs> <laughs> transporting a shipping container full, full of them of and then losing it oh no i wonder oh. like how many shipping containers there were on the ship to begin with you know right well i mean if you've seen those cargo ships they're in the puget sound sometimes yeah they're fucking huge they are and they're just stacked now do you think they were all full of those garfield yeah i think phones? it was all <laughs> it was the garfield <laughs> phone boat <laughs> just coming garfield over phone boat. <laughs> None uh, of okay, that's good. good lord good yeah so um <laughs> there are okay in washington i think it's in washington i don't know all the State? details yeah <laughs> where we are um there's like a a town that was flooded intentionally they built a dam and flooded the town and it's, so now in like the reservoir you can dive to see the town like, that's so spooky like street signs and shit so scary also imagine having to move because yeah. they're like we're gonna flood this whole place we're you it. gotta get out we're flooding we're, and there's no warning you, you go. yeah it's like um you get an email that's like uh tonight at 8 p.m <laughs> <laughs> we will be flooding everything you know and love 
please evacuate in an orderly manner <laughs> well okay here's what i imagined i imagine that they gave them ample notice like yeah. you know i would forget well I just, there's one guy yeah who didn't check his mail <laughs> didn't answer his phone <laughs> that oh. would be me oh no they're funny you i would see the email and i'd be like ah shit and then i'd forget and then i would hear a rumble and i'd be like oh is that today <laughs> <laughs> there's no one left living near everyone like, where is exactly. everybody guys oh shit <laughs> oh, right. that was oh i forgot about that, that was t- oh. oh i was supposed to move oh my god <laughs> damn <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, there's also a lot of underwater mines. Not the bombs, okay, but the but actual the mine mines. Shafts? Yes, yes. Interesting. I learned a little bit about those. Nothing that interesting, though. Okay. Just that, like, cave diving is a very bad idea. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Including don't mine shaft dining. Do that. Diving. <laughs> dining. <laughs> including shaft diving. <laughs> Tonight we dine on shafts. (laughs) Yeah, I just, like, I'm not dying to go underwater in the ocean. Specifically Mm -hmm. the ocean. Like, lake diving, that's kind of cool, maybe. Maybe. Um, Because I'm also scared if I were to be a scuba scuba duber. Scuba room. And a boat would hit me. Or suck me in. Yeah, Yeah, or suck me under. (laughs) I hate... (laughs) He getting sucked under. <laughs> <laughs> I get so mad about it. <laughs> Something about it. Um, Something about it. yeah, I don't know. Just yeah. And I've been in the ocean a fair amount, you know. Like I did the um, whale shark when I was like oh, a yeah. teenager. My family went and swam with whale sharks, and it's so funny because all of these memories with the ocean, like at the time I was kind of reasonably scared but just going with things but thinking back i'm like why did i do that that was so scary you were a child i know and you were a little bit of a like um an adrenaline donkey kid i was i always forget i don't know what changed because now i'm so tired (laughs) all the time but yeah i liked to i think more than anything i just liked getting reactions out of people by doing stuff that's true that's true i don't think i cared about the adrenaline you were just like, that'd be so cool if I... Wouldn't it be funny if I died? <laughs> Wouldn't it be so crazy if I died? Oh, I went to see the new Wes Anderson movie How was on Friday. I liked it a lot. Oh. Um, the reviews are not great. I mean, they're fine. I think yeah. it got like 75%. Okay. It's really weird, but if you like Wes Anderson movies, you'll like it. But I brought it up because there's a kid in it who all he does is go like, do you dare me to do this oh. thing? And then does it. And that's yeah. you. That was me as a kid. Um, no, that that movie actually looked pretty entertaining. I was like, yeah. that's an interesting concept. It had, I had a great time. I feel like um, the theater I was in, because I haven't been to a movie theater in oh, forever. Yeah. What an experience. Um, I feel like people didn't know it was supposed to be a comedy. Because, like, me and, you know, the people I was with and a few other people would laugh at the punchlines, but a lot of people didn't. Huh. So the movie was just bombing. That's weird. And I don't know if, yeah, I guess it just wasn't landing yeah. with people, but I thought it was pretty funny. Well, you know, Wes Anderson, at least I feel, okay, I'm thinking about, like, the Royal Tannenbaums. Um, oh, I, I haven't seen that one. By the way, did not like that one. Ooh. Hot take, because I think a lot of people really like it. I was like, I actually was pissed when I finished it. I said, are you kidding me? Okay, I'll have to watch that Dude, one. Dude, you're going to love it. That's Because like, that's how it always goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a, a strong opinion, and you say, actually, I actually, loved it. Actually, you're wrong. I loved objectively. it. Objectively. Um, but I, I feel like the things that were supposed to be funny in that movie, I was just like, I made that face. What? 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 um and i think that yeah it's probably it's probably that thing where wes anderson has like a certain style of humor and um maybe people just come into it thinking that that's it like that's Mm -hmm. the funny part and then like when there are actual jokes because i've also seen some of his other movies and they are pretty funny yeah like grand budapest is super funny right yeah Yeah. so maybe people are like what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to do yeah i don't know it's such a weird movie it was just really um visually pleasing yeah as usual 
No, but I get it. I, I have the unpopular opinion that I didn't like Fantastic Mr. Fox that much. Oh, that's a good one. And a lot of people think yeah. that's one of his best ones. I would have to agree it is one of the best And I think it's just because, I don't know, I don't like um, talking animals that much. You like whims- whimsy. It's whimsical. I should love it. it. It was like Peter Rabbit style, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. But I found them kind of uncanny when they were talking. Yeah, you know so, what? Mm, yeah. Yeah. His movies are so weird. He gets just like, insanely famous people yes yes and i was like this is so strange i'm always shocked i'm like wait what are you doing here and i'm like wait no all of his movies are like that they probably just like because he's like an art guy and you know actors want to be art- artists artists so they probably just like that's working true. on his movies that's true yeah i don't know hmm. anyway that was our um what did we call it when we reviewed open water <laughs> oh yeah TV, strum, Strumpet TV Movie Review TV Corner or something. Movie corner. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was. Uh, and it's always really good because we always do a good job explaining why we liked or did not like something. Of course. Yes, we're very <laughs> articulate about, our <laughs> about movies. Uh, no, this one was cool because it was a play like it's hard to explain the setting but it was like a play and all of the set and like cinematography was designed to look like kind of play props which i thought was fun like the mountains and the houses all Mm -hmm. looked like they were standing but then they were actually buildings oh wow it was just yeah it was very uh very whimsical yeah Mm -hmm. no the trailer got me i said that okay that looks fun that looks fun that looks fun but yeah, I still, I don't know what it meant though. It was one of those winding meta stories. I was kind of like, I don't really know what's happening. But I like looking at it. I like seeing it. Yeah. What time are we at, Brendo? 45-ish. Wow, perfect. I gotta pee again. I've been pissing up a storm today. Oh, what's with that? Probably all the Red Bull and smoothie I drink. Yeah. And muscle milk. And the muscle milk. Yeah. All liquid diet. Kinda, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got an crustables in my backpack. I'll eat that next. It's been there for a while at this point. I put it in this morning out of the freezer. It's fine. It's a sandwich. Okay. It's a PB and J. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not edible. I'm saying knowing you and the way you are with the texture of things, I feel like an uncrustable sitting in your backpack for several hours doesn't bode well with. <laughs> doesn't the bode well. Yeah, the way you're just like ew. ew. Yeah, you're correct. Oh, the and... a little smooth. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. That's what I'm. That's what I'm operating on. You're correct. <laughs> I wish it was frozen, but I'll still eat it. It's peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, it is. PB, you know what? Peanut butter and jelly is good. Yeah, it is. Good. I always forget. You know. You literally, I do too. And it's then one I'm, of those staples you forget is really good. You say it's delicious. Dude, peanut butter banana sandwich. Oh Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Yeah, those are good too. Ooh wee. I popped off of that. Yeah. I've been eating a lot of uncrustables. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating a lot. How much do Uncrustables cost? I don't know. I get the box. I, I need to get a Costco membership so bad. Oh, dude. Because yeah. I only eat like four foods. Right. I might as well buy them in you bulk. Might as well buy in bulk. But I think a box of 10 Uncrustables is like $15. So it's not great. Right, right. I mean, the convenience. But yeah, it's just, it's so quick and easy to eat. And it's something I can always eat even when I have no appetite. Yeah. Like, it's hard to like eat a meal like you know i don't know like meat and like so just lots of textures <laughs> but an see uncrust- what i'm talking <laughs> about <laughs> i know do you think i want to be this way no i'm just saying you acted so shocked when i was like that's no like you're right you. you're right <laughs> and then you go on a rant about how meat sandwiches have the most horrid texture and it's like most people i'm just saying don't mind a turkey sandwich well when i'm hungry i love a turkey sandwich but when you don't have an appetite it's hard to eat things that are complicated choke it down but pbj white bread (laughs) Mm. in a circle no crust (laughs) no crust (laughs) what is uncrust what a terrible name too uncrustables like it cannot be crusted it cannot be crusted (laughs) What does that mean? Why did they do that? Why? Was, yeah, what was going on there? Why didn't they call him like an uncrusty? <laughs> Maybe because they don't want crusty. Why use the word crust? crust at all? Good question. I don't know. I would call it like a, um, like a a sandwich pouch. Okay. 
or a um sandwich circle. Yeah, sandwich circle, a p- a p- a PB and J, a pocket PB and J. Okay. <laughs> a pocket I- PB. PB. That's what I'd call. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. When you eat a pocket PB. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A universe where the world is the exact same, but instead of it being uncrustable, it's just pocket PBs. They're called... <laughs> oh, when I was a kid, I loved pocket PBs. <laughs> PPB. PPB. Mom, can we get PPBs? Mom, can we have pocket PBs? Mom, my pocket PB got squished in my backpack. I can I get a new one? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they should be called i and stand by that my next question what do they do with the crust i would assume they're just making like it's not even bread right like <laughs> okay. they're just making their own thing There's that they make else. in circles yes. okay um i did find so everyone that i work with has found out that i have an uncrustables problem um and now that they keep bringing it up I, d- I mentioned at one point i was like yeah i just eat an uncrustable every morning okay and they bring it up a lot now i'm like the uncrustable guy <laughs> you're the uncrustable <laughs> guy and they were telling me that they make um i think brendan's looking at it right now it's kind it's of a like a cookie cutter, cutter yes, thing so you can make them at home so you can yeah. make your own pocket pbs <laughs> <laughs> you can call them a pocket pb because there's no <laughs> branding on them yeah i think i should just get one of those because i could make them like slightly healthier you but know? isn't the point of them that it's just easy yeah right? that's the thing i mean if i made these in bulk it would be easy but would i do that yeah that's i also that I- could be you dude that could be me <laughs> I'm not eating them because I don't like crust either. Right. It's yeah, just the convenience. Yeah. So it's like, at that point, I might as well just freeze sandwiches. PB&J, which isn't the worst. But it's not as cool. Oh, but it's, what? Um, if you eat on crust <laughs> rolls, you need to watch to this? No. <laughs> Ew, Turkey dude. and Colby Jack. Oh. I'm crust rolls, but it's meat? That's so gross. That's exactly what I was It's just turkey and cheese? That's so funny. It should be at least like gravy. Gravy. <laughs> Taco Bites, that looks kind of good. These look like... I've had things like these made by, like, Hot Pocket. I think they're just oh, ripping off those Oh, yeah. I do love Hot Pockets. Yeah, they're they're pretty solid. Oh, you could just use a fork. Yeah, but again, you got to spend all that time. Yeah, that's too much time. It's like, what... Yeah, at what point... I like... Um, I just... I also like that they're frozen. I like yeah. to eat them when the peanut butter's still kind of hard. No, that sounds yeah, pretty tasty. It's really good. So, yeah... I'm living the Uncrustables lifestyle. There's no crust involved. No crust. Cannot be crustable. Crusted. Cannot be crusty. No crust. No crust. Crust free since 98. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I was ever a kid who didn't like crust. Maybe I was. I was literally just I'm like, how did you feel about crust as a kid? Uh, Yeah, I think it was fine. Well, I was eating Wonder Bread as a kid. Yeah, because I was going to say, there is a difference because the the crust on white bread is usually fine. Right. Um, But the crust on like the really healthy bread, it can be a little... Sometimes it's a lot. It's a lot of seeds. Seeds, that's really good. Like, because I love Dave's bread. Yeah. And I actually think like that bread, it usually tastes better than Wonder Bread because Wonder Bread kind of just tastes like nothing. (laughs) But yeah, sometimes the crust is a bit much. Just seeds. No seeds. No crust. It's like I'm not a bird. Okay. Okay. Dave. Dave. Uh. <laughs> yep. That's about it. And that's about that ra- wraps up the last two weeks. I and think. that's what I did. Yep. I don't even remember what I did the last two weeks. It's impossible to know. Just nothing. Just worked a lot. Got a full time job now. Some of this. He's working. Some of this. For that. Some of this. Some of this. Oh, is you dry? Yeah. I'm getting, Susie saw me drive today Finally for the first time. It. And Her it and Brennan squeezed him to my little clown car. Yeah. And um, we went through a drive through. And Vina great. That was good because I was telling you, I've, I had only been through a drive through once and it was very early on. And I like kept stalling my engine. I got to the window and realized I didn't know how to roll my window down. Um, I had my parking brake on the full, whole time, I found out, which is why I was struggling to move. 
forward. <laughs> so I was really scared to go through a drive through. Your trauma. Associated. Yeah, but it was fine now. I know how to roll my windows down now. She knows how to roll them. No, she did good. I never felt unsafe. Thank you. That means a lot. Well, you did say, I warned you guys that I break really hard. Yeah. And Brennan said, Brennan did make a start. You do break it. really hard. And I said, do you want to, do you want me to pull this car over, young man? <laughs> she, said, <laughs> she said that too. I will stop this car. I will stop this car and I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Been doing yoga. It's yeah. Day. I'm on day three. Up. I'm on day three of yoga with Cassandra's 30-day yoga challenge. She's doing it. Flexible mind and body. <laughs> Flexible mind? <laughs> yeah, I don't watch her... Fle- mental gymnastics? I don't watch her mental gymnastics videos. <laughs> it's hard to find the right white girl yoga YouTube account for you. It is. Because there's so many. There's a lot of them out there. And I like yoga with Cassandra because once she explains what to do really mm-hmm. well... Because I can't just see someone do it and replicate it. It's too hard. Absolutely not. And she doesn't... Like, some of them, when they're explaining what to do, they say... They just make things up. They're like, extend... Oh, I hate ...your that. inner child to the... <laughs> into the driveway. I'm like, what does this mean? What does that mean? Can you just tell me where to put my feet? Yeah. I think it's spelled with a K. Brennan. Look at her. Such a kind lady. Pull that up. Kind and wholesome little guy. I don't, know. This yoga. I don't know why you would buy anything. Like no, f- no shade to Cassandra, but it's her livelihood. You, you can really out. just there's so much free yoga on YouTube. I guess you could join like a like a live I'm class. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Like if once you find the perfect white girl yoga account for you, right? Well, then I'm gonna buy her ebook. Then, then you get into it and then yeah. it becomes your whole personality and then you join her cult i cannot be a yoga as my personality guy you can't let that happen that, i can't stop you, you have to intervene at some point i'm not allowed to stop you I'm although gonna... honestly i'd probably be pretty healthy so yeah, that's what maybe you that's are fine. you're already doing the mental gymnastics to get you know there. i know and then okay. you're gonna accuse me of holding you back when i say you told me not to let you because you're it. holding you're me back mm. Mm. okay and and you shouldn't have let me <laughs> okay, I got a piece so bad. I think we can wrap it up. Let's wrap it. Yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, Love you. I know it was really good for everyone. I might have. Did I talk the whole time? Yes. Sorry. <sighs> this will be the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna-